In this video we're going to look at adding shelves and vertical divisions. Let's look at shelves first. So there's three ways you can do this. First of all though you have to click on the volume inside the cabinet. Now you can go to the modify menu and add shelves here or you can right click on the volume and add shelves. What we're going to do however is use the toolbars. So let's click here on add shelves. If you add one shelf you can position it proportionally from the top and bottom. Here we've got 50% selected or you can set a specific distance from the bottom or the top. Let's put this shelf in at 300 millimeters from the top. I'm going to select this volume now and put some more shelves in. Now if we put more than one in you don't have the option for the distance from bottom and top. You can only place them equidistantly in that volume. So I'm going to add three in here. Now there's a hierarchy in the way that you add shelves. It works for uprights too. We put this one in first, so this acts really like the parent. Um, all the other shelves are related to it. I can delete one of these child shelves. Right click and delete. And it will go. Let's just bring that back in by hitting the undo. However, if I remove that original shelf I put in, all of the others will be deleted. Let's open up the dialog box again. So there's another section here, type. There are five types of shelf in here. The fixed shelf and mobile shelf, they have different properties associated with each of them that relate to manufacturing methods, specific hardware and materials, for example. We also have shelf 3, nil. Let's add that now. That is made using a nil material so it doesn't exist on the cutting list and you can't see it. If you want to be able to see it just visually uh, you can click here on nil panels and it'll appear. And it's just a way to split the volume without actually using a panel. I delete that. We also have a special shelf for hanging rail, which is used to apply a hanging rail structure, and also shelf 5 raw. This means there are no materials or hardware or any other properties associated with it. It's a completely blank template to use. You can create your own as well. Incidentally, the thickness here, this is just for information, this box. You don't edit the thickness here. The thickness is defined by the thickness of the material used by the panel. Uprights work uh, in just the same way. Let's select the volume and select here in the toolbar Add Uprights. I'm going to add one upright. When you've got an upright or a shelf selected you can see the position here and edit it directly from the Properties menu. There are a number of other parameters in the Properties menu available which we will be covering in another video. OK, I'm going to select this volume now and add three more uprights. And again to highlight the hierarchical nature of how shelves and uprights work, let's select that first one we put in and move it to 200 millimeters from the left. So all the other uprights which are defined by that first one reposition. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.